Hi, my name is Ian Davis. I'm a medical oncologist and professor of medicine at Monash University and Eastern Health in Melbourne, Australia, and I'm chair of ANZ UP Cancer Trials Group. Enzimet is an investigator-initiated international randomised phase three open-label clinical trial looking at the addition of enzalutamide uh, to testosterone suppression compared to a standard antiandrogen in men with metastatic hormone-sensitive prostate cancer commencing treatment with androgen deprivation therapy. At ASCO 2019, we presented the results of the interim analysis of the Enzimet trial. This showed that after 50% of the expected events and a median follow-up of 34 months, that there was a survival benefit evident for the addition of enzalutamide to testosterone suppression. The hazard ratio for death at that time was 0.67, and landmark survival at three years was 72% for the control arm and 80% for the enzalutamide arm. At ASCO 2022, we presented data for the for planned 470 event analysis with a median follow-up of 68 months. And this has shown that the benefit of enzalutamide for the overall cohort has been sustained with a hazard ratio for death of 0 0.70, which is highly statistically significant. And the uh, landmark uh, survival now at five years was 57% for the control arm and 67% for the enzalutamide arm. The estimated median survival for the control arm was 73 months and not reached for the enzalutamide arm. These effects were evident across all of the subgroups. The results of this planned analysis with a median follow-up of 68 months show that the benefit of enzalutamide is evident across all of the subgroups that we looked at. Uh, we also did some exploratory analyses at this time uh, based on prognostic grouping, looking at patients who had synchronous or de novo versus metachronous presentation of metastatic disease and those with high or low volume disease. Uh, and we also looked at this in relation to whether the patients received concurrent docetaxel or not. Now, we need to say that these were exploratory analyses, so we're being careful not to overinterpret them. We've not done any statistical analyses on these. And it also needs to be borne in mind that uh, it, use of docetaxel was at investigator discretion. So there may be some underlying clinical factors or prognostic factors which are not apparent, which underlay the choice of the investigator to use docetaxel. But what we've found is uh, some clear cut messages. And that is for patients who are able to receive additional therapies, the use of testosterone suppression alone is not sufficient, particularly for those with low volume disease uh, or, or low risk disease. We saw that uh, across all of the, all of the groups, um, that uh, use of the standard antiandrogen alone with testosterone suppression gave the poorest uh, outcomes. What we also showed was the use of added enzalutamide or docetaxel, or the combination of enzalutamide and docetaxel, all gave apparently similar survival outcomes. And that led us to hypothesize that the use of the triplet therapy, enzalutamide, docetaxel, testosterone suppression might be best reserved for those patients with highest risk disease. And that was the high volume uh, synchronous metastatic disease subgroup. For everybody else, the benefits from doublet therapy with enzalutamide or with docetaxel uh, and not the combination really seem to give similar sorts of outcomes. So we would hypothesize that it might be reasonable to reserve the use of the triplet therapy for those patients at highest risk, those with high volume synchronous metastatic disease. Uh, but the uh, uh, takeaway point though is that enzalutamide was beneficial to a greater or lesser extent in all of the various prognostic subgroups that we examined. There's been a lot of interest in the results of the PEACE-1 study and ARISIN study reported recently, and uh, it's always tempting to do comparisons of those studies against Enzimet. And there are a few comments to make there. Uh, firstly, the study populations were different. Enzimet used um, a mix of prognostic groups. Uh, ARISIN, by definition, uh, were patients 
where a decision was already made that the use of docetaxel uh, was appropriate. And in piece one, it ended up that about 60% of patients uh, use concurrent docetaxel. The study designs were quite different and the comparator arms are quite different as well. So we should not be uh, drawing direct comparisons. But what we can say, particularly from our exploratory analyses, is that all of the um, doublets, enzalutamide with ADT or docetaxel with ADT, uh, seem to perform similarly in our study to the triplet therapy of ADT, docetaxel and enzalutamide. Uh, so that should give all of us uh, some level of encouragement, I think, that um, we would not necessarily be doing our patients a disservice if we reserved one of those extra drugs for use in the castrate resistance setting later down the track for these patients when it inevitably occurs. Enzymet was a cooperative group study led by ANZ UP Cancer Trials Group in collaboration with Cancer Trials Ireland, the Canadian Cancer Trials Group, the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and the NHMRC Clinical Trial Centre at the University of Sydney uh, with support from Astellas Global. We're very grateful to all of the participants and all of the investigators and research teams at all of the sites.